Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of my Side the Heroes journey and today I have some amazing tips to share with you. I have recorded a continuous loop of games until I won a loot box. Quick spoiler, there are only 3 games as I had a 100% win rate over more than 10 games and I wanted to share with you what update version 0.1.3 implemented that changed the game. And that is effects. In this video I'm going to showcase the steam effect using OG and the wave modulator weapon. It has worked amazing for me and I suggest you give it a try as well. The previous builds I described hold true, meaning that since I use a weapon I'm going for 8 points in vitality and 2 points in attack. When you damage an enemy with a certain damage class, you apply a status on the enemy hero and you will notice a small icon above the enemy's health bar. At the moment there are only 4, burning, wet, charged and kinetic. Interactions between these statuses cause effects which yield powerful bonuses. For example, if the enemy is under a burning status applied by OG as basic attack and you use the wave modulator which deals hydro damage, you get the steam effect which increases damage by 50% and also deducts one energy point from the enemy. From my experience, the energy point deduction is not working properly yet, but the damage buff really works as you will see in the upcoming fights. The other effects are short circuit which is obtained by combining a wet effect with a charge or electrical one. You get an additional 40% damage and theoretically also deduct 2 energy points from the enemy. And explosion which is obtained by combining the burning and charge effects. You get an area of effect damage and I think this will be the most used one in 3v3. At the moment this can only be applied by OGS basic attack and the taser or Voltron's basic attacks and this certifies my previous observations. OGS are the number one targets in 3v3 in most scenarios or until the next weapons are released. The wrist grenade launcher which deals fire damage and also applies the burning status. You might notice that certain statuses appear without you doing any damage and those are race specific statuses which have a 25% chance of being activated each turn. However, these also boost certain aspects for each race. Voltrons get reduced chance to be critically hit, Raptorians don't get their resistances lower, while OGS keep their damage buffs unaffected. From the medium the team published, apparently planets and combat zones have different statuses that boost the effects or the native characteristics of those races. As far as the kinetic bleed effect applied by the railgun pistol is concerned, the team confirmed that it is not working properly yet, but I believe that once it is fixed it will entirely shift the meta again and I can see a Raptorian dominance resurgence. One thing is for sure, the Sidus Heroes team is constantly working and improving the game and each new change feels like a new chapter that adds layers of complexity. I believe that the upcoming introduction of armor and pets will entirely remodel the game and how we play it. Needless to say, I am extremely bullish on the project. I hope you guys liked this update as much as I did and as usual, if you found this video useful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below your favorite effect and what other builds you have tried. Thanks for watching.